Oops. You, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the frenzy, all the Pokemon in Hisui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. I need help. Help? Oh, well, that's not exactly something I could do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but would put Irida in a difficult position. I truly wish that you could re repay. Wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that. But there's nothing al I alone could do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find Mai in the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that uh, somewhere in the vastness of Hizui, there is a place for you as well. Okay, I don't, I don't get my rank back. Man, the list just expanded. Save my progress here. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan would end up at war, war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great White Rare Deer took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find your own find a path to walk. So neither clan could take me in. Okay. Yeah, what's this Shinx doing all the way out here? Hey, hey little buddy, how's it going? It's like... You know, after all those times I fought it, captured them, and... Even discarded them back to the wilder. 
they're willing to help me out. Like, strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Hey, Volo. Found you at last, Victor. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows what, well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems you're qu quite the pit pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry. There are still corners of the Hazui region where we could still... We could stash you away in secret. I know a spot that would be a, the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. Here we are. I know, I know. It's no place, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Ancient retreats. Shirking your work to come pester me again. Even beneath the bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Miss Mistress Kogida. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Azui's myths and legends. No, mistress, thank you. Just Kogida, and this is... Why, Victor is the man of the hour. He's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, oh, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one, it seems you, I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Duty? Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway, there's much to behold. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and further still from Mars, dwells Almighty Sinnoh. Diamond clans? Or the Pearl clans? The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces a path we tread from the here and now into the future. While space yawns all encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How could one claim that either the, is greater than the other, as those two clans do? You really can't. They're inseparable? Perhaps the truth is clearer to the wanderer, such as you, the one who has known other ages. Now listen, Lost One, here is what you must do. The Zui holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the Shrouded Ruins. There you may receive the Red Chain with it. With it, perhaps you can find the world together. Bind the world, you say. You mean it won't close the rift. Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us to do. How true they are is in mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their, their children without a thought for har the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty and you'll do it, won't you? Of course, there is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. 
I haven't seen that in a while. Your arc phone is beeping. You can see the locations of the three lakes marked on your arc phone. Mistress Kogita's got a lovely workbench here. If you need materials, I'd be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? Yeah, that, uh, that is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that indeed? What was that cry? Have we now lo a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Victor. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, from little fellow? And it's got a letter, a letter addressed to you, Victor. Take a closer look at the letter. To Victor, you may use my Pokemon as a go, go between two to access the pastures to Jubilee Village. I've also ensured you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to Brit bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silent, Sir, Sir Roy Corps Captain at Galaxy Expedition Team. Good times from the letter then. That's right. Now then, so we're to visit three lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy test, that's for sure. It sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Bolo? Such a consu consumite guild merchant. I managed to reassure my people for now. The wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Seems all quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding, aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would go grow st strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention, so it'll be just one of us. Me or her, it's up to you, though the answer should be obvious. Like, who do I want to bring? Okay, I can't climb up. Oh man, this is a tough decision. Yeah, I don't see any hidden unknowns. Obviously, you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestica flu in the first place? That's right, this strapping young man. Let me think it over. Yeah, of course you'll choose me. I was the one who gave you what you needed when you first set out to quell Cleaver. You and I made it, his bombs together. Yeah, Irida's nice, but... Uh, but I'm a little more respectful to the pragmatic. Obviously, Lee, you'll choose me, right? Yeah, I choose you. Thought so, you could count on me. So then the leftover leader will... Leftover, I'm not someone scraps. I will keep watch on the commander. Uh, I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be this to decide which of the Huzui's region's three Great Lakes to visit first. Right, and we better get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever we decide to go. We'd better... We'd be in hot water if we're seen traveling together. 
I'm counting on you to handle this, Adam, and don't cause Victor more trouble. The trial of Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. I brought her. What else do I need to bring with me? Where are you headed? Okay, so it's safe enough for me to save game. You see, this lake is actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so Lake Verity was born. It was protected by a Pokemon called Meesprit. It was when Meesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how the old tales go anyway. Arc phone is beeping. That cave, it just appeared from no nowhere. Is that arc phone the professor was going on about? Let's do this, Victor. Mr. Scorgita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. Thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.
There's something about this place I can't put it to words.